Hi, it's me, Anya, and welcome back to Cozy Room Podcast. Hey guys, it's Artie. Welcome back to Cozy Room. Womb, girl. Womb, girl. <laughs> Let's be honest, we start to see our children's personality at age two. You know what your child will and won't do very early. So stop acting like you don't see that your kids are not the nicest kids. Do not share and are selfish, okay? Stop ignoring the fact that you do spoil them with things that they do not deserve and they are not the type of kids that show the appreciation or gratitude for what you do. This is why I say troublemakers are raised at home and then brought into other people's worlds. Bullies are raised at home and brought into schools. Bullies had too many adults not check them for their bad behavior. So do not ignore a child who needs more guidance and stop raising a jerk. This is Cozy Moon Podcast, and that's what I want to talk about. Now, let's get into Cozy Moon Podcast, okay? And if you would like to find more about the show, follow us on Instagram or Twitter, okay? Now, if you notice on Instagram, when you put in Cozy Moon Podcast, two Instagram pages pop up. One was my old page that was hacked and the one with the most current podcast cover is the newer one. Follow that one. I can't even get into my old pages. Sorry. We have to show all children what empathy is. Starting from babies, toddlers, little children, (sighs) Preteens, teenagers, and even in their 20s, we have to show them what good people are, what good people do, and what good people say. Right? Tell your children how to care for others, but better yet, show your children how to care for other people. People who cannot give them anything or do anything for them. Tell kids what their limits are at home. A lot of bullies and a lot of kids that are titled and and called jerks, they they did not have limits for whatever they wanted. They did not have boundaries for the things that they did. And the person that they're going to come in contact with that has boundaries and has limits is going to be labeled as the problem. When in reality, it's not them that's the problem. It's your child. It's your child that was never given those boundaries. Limit violent games to kids 15 and younger. I don't think kids 15 and younger can handle or separate real life from a video game when it comes to their emotions, um, things that they don't like, their anger, and their frustrations. I think they mix it all together. And they think anything is possible because who I am in this game, what I have in this game, right? What I can do in this game. So limit the violent games. Limit the pranking videos without you watching them with your child together. And when you do watch pranking videos with your child together, let them know that legally, this cannot happen. Legally, you will get locked up. Legally, you will be charged. Legally, someone will sue you. They have to hear this coming from you. Us on the outside of your home cannot be the first people to let your child know that their behavior is incorrect. Their behavior is not something that should continue. We don't want to be the bad guys to your kids. You should be the yin and the yang to everything they become. Everything they become. Do not treat your kids like a friend. Make sure that you praise your kids when they do kind things without you having to tell them. And if you don't set the boundaries early, it will not work later. If you do not set the boundaries early, I promise you it will not work later. You'll have 
a child that has a personality in front of you, a personality in front of their dad, a personality in front of their teachers. And when they're with their friends, there's somebody completely different. When they're with someone that they like, there's somebody completely different. And you don't want to start training your child to put on certain personalities depending on who they're around because then you'll be raising a little mini monster that you didn't even know you had. Do not let your child and their personality be a secret to you and a monster to many. Do not do it. Pay attention to how your kids make choices and treat other people. Do not let your kids feel comfortable being ungrateful to the efforts people give them and show for them. Even if you don't like something, say thank you. Because sometimes what people do for you, they didn't have to do it. They did it out of the kindness, the kindness of their hearts. You have to teach your children that at home. It's not up for a teacher to teach your child. It's not up for the preacher to teach your child. It's not up for your grandparents to teach them. Stop letting your child be a jerk. And I have more after these messages. Hey there, I hope you're enjoying the show. This is Cozy Womb Podcast, a podcast about parenting things so we can get better and your kids can get better. But before we continue, I do have some table topics for you. And I hope you guys are getting ready for back to school. (sighs) I know, I know. Where do they expect us to get this money from? Who's giving out free supplies? Because I need dibs, all right? All right, so I have the Table Topic Stack Family Edition. You could get your own stack on tabletopics.com. If you use my code SHAMBYPODDEN, you can get 15% off your own stack. And they will deliver right to your home. All right, question. Why would you rather be a girl or a boy? I did that already. Let's do something different because we already know. Um, what would you most like to change in the world? Poverty. And people not having homes when one person can have multiple homes and can only be in one at the same time. Like, let's be serious. There are so many reasons why poverty should not exist in this world. And the answer of why it exists is greed. Duh. Next question. What do you say when someone gives you a gift you already have? Ooh, thank you. Double. Might have to re-gift it to somebody because why would I need double of the same thing? Unless it's like a basic item where you can have one for work or one for the home or one that you can wear when you travel and one that you can wear for like fancy occasions. I don't know. It depends on what it is. I might keep it. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this show. The show is going to come back. I just wanted to let you guys know that there is a merch shop if you want to get some merch from Cozy Moon Podcast and support the podcast because everything helps me get webcam, me get merch ideas, me uh, market the show and I just appreciate it and I love to see people are out and about having a sticker of cozy women wearing a t-shirt or a hoodie or a jacket they do have jackets on there and they're real cute i bought me one go to the cozy room shop with teespring or you can support by going to shanbpodden.com and purchasing a book for podcasting or a book for someone in your family that I wrote. I appreciate it all. And if you would just like to donate to Red Circle, you can. The link is in the show notes. Now back to the show. I do appreciate you listening. If you are not subscribed to Cozy Womb Podcast on Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon, uh, Radio Public, um, who else? CastBox. So many places. Subscribe today and download episodes that help you or can help somebody else and share it all over your social media because I need more listeners because (laughs) whether you like it or not we are going to be affected by someone else's parenting and not knowing 
and Cozy Womb Podcast is all about making parenting better. Most importantly, we as the parents do not want to disrespect other people in front of our kids or disrespect our kids and then turn around and ask them for their respect for ourselves or for other people. Expect them to be disrespectful if you're always disrespectful. Expect them to do better if you show them how to do better more than not. Most kids learn their bad habits at home. Anger issues grow when they are not dealt with. So if you feel like your child had anger issues because they're terrible twos, just it'll pass. All right. If you feel like your child has anger issues at six, seven, every teacher has called you in and talked to you about it, but you haven't gotten them help. You haven't tried to change their diet before you took them to see if meds would help. Um, You haven't taken them to a child therapist and it's just getting worse, or how they like to say today, worse on worse. <laughs> um, hello, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Who, who are you waiting to tell you it is time to see about your child? It is time to do something different. A lot of parents let their child's behavior go unchecked and allow their child to be everybody else's problem. And it's not fair. Check your children's anger at home. You can cater to your child a thousand percent and wonder why they are so impatient because you make everything their world. You can't do that because life is not going to do that for your child. They need to be first for you but they are not first for everyone else. They won't share around you. They won't share at the playground. But when you are not around and they are around other children, they have to share because everything is not theirs. It is going to be hard for them to adapt. It is going to be hard for your child to fit in and be comfortable at different daycares and after school activities. So if you don't want to be it for your child all the time because nobody wants to watch your child or keep your child and nobody else can handle your child, then you better get them on the straight and narrow. You better check their behavior. You better see what you can do to balance it out. Teach your child how to apologize by allowing them to hear you and see how you apologize. Know when your kids need a nap. All kids need responsibility, so don't have them in a the house. Not teach them how to clean the bathroom. Not teach them how to spread their bed. Not teach them how to clean the sink. Not teach them how to clean up after themselves when they eat. Not teach them how to put things back and think, okay, they're going to be 16 or 18. They're going to graduate. They're going to go to college. They're going to be a great roommate. They're going to be horrible. They're going to be a whole jerk to someone else. Don't allow them to crash six cars that you gave them that were brand new and get a seventh and then go to work and do things halfway and think they should still be able to work there they should still get a raise it's it's you're creating a snowball of issues because they don't think anything that they do is incorrect because nobody ever had a problem with it before because their parents ignored it so if you don't want to raise a jerk so the workplace could be a place of peace for other people as they get older start to give them boundaries as children jerks are not magically at work, at the store, behind the wheel. Um, Jerks are not magically getting married to women who thought like maybe they were just going through something that one time why they acted like that. No, that's their whole personality. And it went decades without being unchecked. It starts as children. Address the problem. Do not excuse it. Nobody wants a jerk for a friend. Nobody wants a jerk for a boss. Nobody wants a jerk for a coworker. No one wants a jerk for a classmate, roommate, none of that. So help your child be a better human being. 
thank you for listening to Cozy Womb Podcast. Peace. Because that's what we need. Not a jerk. Bye. Bye.